All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about the last few items on this right-hand side, and that is the alignment options and the layers panel. So let's talk about the layers panel first. So the layers panel is how you can keep everything organized. One of the things I love about Illustrator is you can think of every object in Illustrator, every shape and every um, uh, stroke or whatever as an object and you can think of those like stacked vertically. So you can change what shows and what doesn't by moving things in front or uh, back of one another. So the layers panel comes in handy when you have dozens, if not hundreds of shapes, you can create a layer for a very specific thing. For example, if you're creating a character, you could create a layer just for the face, a layer for the hair, a layer for the body, etc. That way you don't have to send an object back a million times in order to get it where you want. You just have to navigate within that layer, which is pretty cool. And then you have the option to like lock or hide specific layers or hide specific parts of your illustration, which is handy. So you can create a new layer by clicking this uh, new icon down at the bottom corner. You can create a new sub layer by creating this one. And you can also delete a layer by clicking the trash icon. In the last video, I brought in that image to trace using the pin tool. And that brings up a cool thing that you can do. What you can do is, let me go to my Finder. So if I drag in that image again, you can see it drags in way too large. Let me zoom out a little bit. I can hit E to bring up the transforms tool and uh, bring that down a little bit to match the, uh, the artboard. But one of the things you can do is if you double click on this layer, layer one, you have the option to lock this layer and dim it to 50%, which is super handy when you want to uh, trace an image. So when you click that, you can see it dims a little bit, it drops the opacity. So if you click a new layer, you can uh, go ahead and start tracing this and you don't have to worry about accidentally clicking and moving that image around because it's locked and dimmed which is super, super handy. And then the final things in the layers panel, you can toggle the visibility by clicking the little eye icon or lock the layer by clicking the lock button as well. It hides if it's uh, unlocked and it shows the little lock icon if it is locked. But basically the layers panel just allows you to keep your illustration file uh, super clean so you don't have to worry too much about like things getting messed up while you're working in one area and you can like lock specific things while you're working on other specific things. It's just uh, useful if you uh, keep your layers uh, panel clean and organized as you go, which is super handy. Also, uh, one thing I didn't mention, if you want to re rename it, you just double click on the layer, say um, outline, pretty snazzy. All right, so next let's talk about the alignment options. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide that background layer and show you what the alignment options do. So I'm just gonna create a bunch of shapes. All right, so uh, you can select multiple shapes and go into the align objects and you have different op options. You can align them all vertically to the top, uh, which makes them all um, obviously align to the top. You can align them to the bottom. You can align them to the center. Other options is you can do things horizontally. So if I select these, I can align them to the left or to the right. Also, you have the option if you click in here and you go to show options, uh, you can change how it aligns. You can align it to the selection, uh, which is what I usually do. Uh, you have the option to align it to a key object or uh, align it to the artboard. So if I align it to the artboard and select align to the right, it pushes everything to the very edge of that artboard or you can center it in the artboard, um, which is super, super handy. The next thing I use quite often is distribute spacing. So for example, say I want these to be perfectly spaced in between each other. So I could select these three and go ahead and click horizontal distribute space. And obviously it's selected to uh, the artboard. So it automatically distributes them between the artboard. If I undo that and I change it to selection and do that same thing, it will um, distribute them evenly in between uh, the two outer objects, which is super handy. Uh, you can do things uh, vertically as well. So say you have the same object uh, duplicated a bunch of times and you want them evenly distributed. Uh, you can do the vertical spacing, which is super cool. And then you have the options to distribute the objects. 
So you can distribute them vertically, center or bottom, just as you would uh, with the alignment. But that basically just uh, moves objects around um, evenly, which is pretty cool. It doesn't matter about the space between them, but the objects themselves. And then you can do things horizontally as well, align them to the left or the right, which is pretty cool. There's quite a bit you can do and it makes it super easy to get perfect alignment that you need. A real world example of this is say you have, let's grab the ellipse tool, create a circle, and say you want to create eyeballs. So you can create two of those, command C, command F. So now I have two little circles. Say like I move these uh, like this, I get them how I want, but I see they're not perfectly lined up. I can select both of those align to top. Also, you can treat groups as individual objects as well. So for example, say these are two eyeballs in your little character, you can hit Command G to group those, and then it will treat these two as uh, two objects instead of three. So now I can align those center um, vertically and horizontally, or I can align them to the top like so. There's quite a bit that you can do uh, to get the exact spacing that you want. So yeah, go ahead and uh, play around with the alignment tools. Uh, there's quite a bit you can do with those. Create a bunch of shapes and just uh, mess around and play and see uh, what the alignment options give you. You can play and practice with the layers panel, but that's uh, kind of self-explanatory. So, But I definitely recommend that you practice with the, the alignment options just to get comfortable with those. All right, so that is all for this video. In the next video, we're going to talk about keyboard shortcuts, just uh, handy little uh, shortcuts that you can use to quickly access tools and uh, do various things uh, when you're working uh, to help speed up your workflow.